Welcome to the loft in the garden studio. This area needs a warm hug. I just want to cozy it up for the holidays. It's a special place and I want to fill it with objects that bring me great joy. Let's see what happens when the gardener, writer, um, wannabe decorator turns this area into um, kind of a woodland theme perhaps. That's what I think then, since I got a lot of woodlandy things outside my window. My goal is to work with items that I currently have, most of which have been thrifted, and of course natural elements from outside. I'm going after that brown Annabelle hydrangea. Yeah. Wow. Perfect. I have a lot of fun pieces and parts that I really love and that inspire me and bring me a lot of joy, but now it's just where to put them all. And some things I just probably won't have time to do. Like I'd love to hang this mirror, but maybe that will have to wait for the final redoing of the loft, which will be hopefully in just a few more weeks. Well, the mirror is hung. We'll see if it holds, and I'm gonna work on the balance. I have one more thing, and only one more thing, to bring in, and that's something that's going to go into this apothecary jar. Let's go out into the garden. Whoops. It missed it. It's so frosty and cold this morning. The loft has a door to the a little deck outside without a railing though, so I'm very careful when I go out there. We'll do that another day. And I'd like to take you through some of the more cherished items that are here. 
So let's sit down for a moment and I'll explain all of this. Let's start with the table. This is a special kind of card table, I believe, with these rounded corners. And it came from my husband's family, his mom. I just love this table and it has a section in it so I can make it smaller when I'm doing other things up here. And all of the lace that I have is from is thrifted and there may be a piece or two in there that was from my family, but I believe it's all from thrifting. All my linens, I'm a fanatic with linens. The paintings, the sculptures, everything are things that I've purchased secondhand. However, these little silver cups are from my aunt and uh, she's an artist. And there's something else from her over here that's super, super special. This is my aunt's easel. I'll show you more of her artwork another time. This is a thrifted piece of art, which I really like a lot. So there we have it for this side. Very few things here were purchased new. That mirror came from Target and gosh, uh, that candle. It's a candle from a company called Root, I think. I'll leave it in the description if I can find it. And it's a wonderful USA made candle. These are the seed pods from Nigella and they were given to me by a gardening friend. They're going to be white or they should be white and I need to plant those. This cup here is a thrifted cup. I have a whole set and you notice it's the dogwood which goes with the theme of Christmas. I have a whole nativity set but here, this is the part that's the most important to me. And a journal, which I can't believe I found this at a thrift store. Looking forward to filling that up. All of these books are either from the family or I've thrifted them over the years. And some pretty little sparkly mercury glass over there. I'm sure I bought that new. This Pendleton wool blanket I gave to my dad years ago and I just spritzed it with some of my mom's perfume and so I feel like I'm right back home again. I can't think of a better way to have a holiday hug and cozy up uh, with the season than to be surrounded by things that belong to people you love and then also bring in the outdoors. I think I'm ready for Christmas. I hope that this little makeover of my loft for the holidays has inspired you to surround yourself with even just one thing that brings you joy and that reminds you of something wonderful and lovely. 
this winter, the rest of this winter, I'm going to be doing more terrariums and also refurbishing and redoing parts of this garden studio and the loft. So I hope you are able to tune in for that. And there's ways to do that on YouTube with the notification bell and subscribing and such if you really don't want to miss those. Alrighty, until next time, wherever you are, inside or outside, keep dreaming in the garden. <laughs>